Here's the problem with the ignition switch. It's very loose. See the neutral light is on. We don't make very good contact. I noticed it's held on. With a couple of screws up there. So I'm going to take it off and have a look inside. I'm using a, a screw bit inside the socket. I'm having to film in the shed because there's a howling gale outside and there's nothing more annoying than watching a YouTube video and all you can hear is <laughs> So I came in the shed out of the wind Right, I've got it out He sold it on That's going to be a douchebag, unless it's just soldered onto a plate at the bottom. So I need to. Looks like it's been out before by the looks of it, because that's broken. Looks like I just need to push these little tabs in and prise the bottom off. I don't think I need to unsolder it or take it apart here because I'm sure this is the other end of the ignition switch. ignition barrel. Let's take it into the light and have a look. Now hopefully it's not too windy. Let me try and get into this. There's a crack there as well. I hope there's not going to be a mountain of springs and ball bearings come popping out. Oh. I think that's the problem. So what I shall do is just give this a clean up and then come back. I mean there are some springs there but I can't see any bearings. They're loose. But all they do is probably come out actually. No. They're on springs as well. So they've got little dibbles on them. And they will just connect various contacts on the wire. But as you can see, I mean, that's just, it's no wonder. Camera keeps going off, sorry about that. 
So I'll stop the camera and give this lot a clean up. I'll just rub it with a bit of sandpaper I think. Just a quick look, I've slid the contact bit out of the barrel. These springs there push down on these bearings which just give it a firm click between each of these notches. There's a cross shape there that goes into the cutout where the key is. And it's raining so I'm going in. So what I did was sandpapered these, but I noticed some of them have been built up with solder, so this problem's obviously been there before. And the same with these. That's these all look like they've been soldered to rebuild the pads. But I've cleaned it up as best as I can. Stretched these springs a bit because they weren't giving really enough force. So I'll put it back together and then we're going to stick it on the bike. I'll just go and check the position of that. I took a photo of it on my phone, so just hold on. So here's a tip. If you've ever taken anything apart, take photos. And at least you can check when you put stuff back together that you're putting it back in the right order. So that goes that way, and that goes on an angle there. Yep, that's correct. I can't remember which way this went on there. That way, or that way, but it'll fit both ways. Yeah, I didn't take a photo of that, did I? I'm going to say that way, because that blank will fit in there and the wiring loom will wedge on there. Cable tie on there. Right, let's plug it into the bike, see what happens. I apologise for the darkness, but I'd rather it be dark than windy. So this came out of there. Yeah, I know it goes through the hole, but we'll just try it before. Okay. What's going to happen? What's happening? Aha! Uh -huh. A neutral light. And all the lights light up. Wiggle the key. I think we're done. It's only a two position switch, well, three positions really. You've got off. Not off. The first position is the ignition on. And the second position is all the lights are on. So you've probably got it standing at the side of the road or something. It puts the lights on. But that feels a lot better, a lot more responsive. And I'm wiggling the key and the light is staying on. So and consider that the success. So I shall re-thread it through the headlamp properly, screw it back into there and then we'll have another look. Right, that's in now. It's all straight away, beautiful. 
Lovely. Don't stop, so don't turn the pet cock on. I'm satisfied with that. Lovely job.